All right, guys. So, <clears throat> been slacking on the videos, but I'm gonna try to get back to it. So, we got the RB25 here. Looking great. I finally got most of the parts to assemble the engine back together completely, and then drop it in the car. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. We're gonna get a new water pump on there. We're gonna get a new front main seal. We're gonna install the whole timing components. We're gonna install the trigger kit fully. We're gonna gap them to, I think eight, um, eight mil on the cam and then one mil on the crank. And uh, yeah, let's jump right to it. All right, so we got the water pump off. So now I'm just gonna clean the mating surface to put the new water pump on with the new uh, silicone. All right, so now we got a brand new water pump and we're just going to seal it up, put it on and call it a day. So let's get this opened. Yeah. Nice, brand new water pump. So we're gonna seal it up. Sealant. Should have a gun right here. We got bend sealant, literally. <laughs> that wasn't that stable. So we got the bend sealant. Um, literally, like the best stuff. This stuff dries super hard and it uh, uh, just seals everything. We use this on the cars, and you can literally put it. Put it on an oil pan, put oil on it, and dry the car. You can, like, you can make it as a waiter. And we use it on waiters, so. Confident this is gonna be awesome, so let's make a good beat. All right, we got some brand new bolts. Let's open those up. And get those ready to go in. All right, let's grab that torque wrench and torque it up. Alrighty, so just a little demonstration that we got them all torqued up. So we got 13s to 15 foot pounds, these to about 29 foot pounds, this little guy to six foot pounds. And we're all torqued up, get sealant, looks good. So now we can take this crank pulley off. I mean, this crank um, sprocket I had the PRP oil pump alignment tool to align the oil pump. Look, see, it just slides in there and just make sure the oil pump's down. With, I mean, aligned with the crank. So we're all good there. So now I got to plop in a new front main seal. Um, and then I can put the gear on, put the belt on all the idlers and tensioner, and then I could put the front covers on, the upper cover, and just reassemble the whole engine. So let's get that. I might not record that just because it's kind of hard to film, but I'll get right back after this is all on. Alrighty, so we got the belt on. Spun in a couple times, now I put it back to TDC, so we're good there. We are good there at that time mark. And then finally, PRP has that line going to that little indent on the oil pump so we're good to go so i'm just going to slap the front covers on and uh get back to it 
I finally remembered to record, so I spontaneously wanted to put the motor in the car just to get a head start. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna finally put the engine in the car right now. So it's gonna wheel this thing over there. It's fairly easy in this car if I just put the engine in. So I'm gonna take the hood around for now. It just drops. <laughs> the whole thing. All right, next season, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jason coming soon. Hey. All right, you right, want me to help? Uh, yeah. Right. Not yet. All right, we had a little oh shit moment, but we're back. We're good. <laughs> the hood was, the hood would have hit, and the way I had the engine set up initially, it was, it's tilted down so far forward, as you can see, that I uh, wasn't a little predicting that. So now I'm gonna try, oh, oh shit. Try to get this AC <laughs> compressor kind of lined up. Just because I didn't want to take the refrigerator out. I don't know why, it would be a lot easier just to take it out. But for some fucking reason, I thought it was a good idea to, Try not to take any refrigerant out. So, I have to try and do this. This is such a bad. Trying so hard not to damage this valve filter. <laughs> Got the bubble wrap on it. <laughs> can you lower the jack? You can turn that. Mm -hmm. Alright, it was a little challenging, but we're in. And holy shit. <laughs> I mean, the uh, clutch master is so close. If you can get right there, it's so close to the master cylinder. For the clutch. That is like. I don't know. Two cotton hairs. <laughs> but I'm hype. Now we just gotta put the two motor mount bolts in and uh, the engine will be kind of in the car. But geez, I was so nervous about these valve covers and then the, Gotta keep them clean. And then the GTR fenders, I didn't want to crack them. <laughs> and then, oh God. Body shot. Yeah, I know these front ends are like two grand. Not the carbon fiber. Eh? So well worth it. Well worth it. Looks so good. Hell yeah. Alright, let me get these bolts and stuff and get Alright guys. Sorry, major updates on the car again. Slacking, I know. I get caught up, I start working and I don't record. Terrible at that. Um, no excuse. So we got the engine in the car. Uh, we actually wired in the engine harness. 
uh, engines mounted, transmissions in. I got the um, spec twin disc. It's like the SS one, so it's good for way more torque than I ever need. Uh, what else did we do? So harnesses ran, engines in, fuel rail is in. We got a, a new regulator from Radium. Uh, just a direct hardline one. It's just super easy to do. Um, I did do a battery relocation to the trunk. Super sorry I didn't record, but I'm terrible once again. Uh, so we ran a battery line. So I ran a one gauge or zero gauge wire from the front all the way to the back. 15 feet is perfect. Uh, Amazon has this welding wire. It's 15 feet. If you got our chassis, it goes right about there. Uh, we have a 200 amp breaker right here and then we have another line coming up to the positive terminal we have a power wire for my fuel pump because i put a fuel pump relay in right there um waiting on the battery mount got a ground wire right here and ground for the fuel pump relay grounded it to like the uh, rear crash bar mount uh later i'll get my ohm meter i'm actually looking for it i don't know where it is uh just to ohm it out make sure i got good resistance to the chassis in the front and all that so batteries in the back now fuel pumps wired in so I wired it in there, just deep in the one uh, power wire that fed the fuel pump before. So the new power from the relay is going to the power at the fuel pump. And then this yellow guy, no, this guy is the trigger from the factory harness. If you come over here, we have a distribution block right here. So I got the power coming from the battery right here. I got my fuse box power right here. And then I have my starter power right here going all the way down to the starter can you see it somewhat but it goes down to the starter trust me um and then wiring specialties has a new charge cable they give you so that's kind of the biggest update other than the other day got rid of the te look wheels of the car and went with the wheel i was uh really anticipating on getting and they are some VSKFs. So we have 17. I don't know the specs. I'll see if I can find them and then I'll post them like somewhere like right here, real quick. Of the specs, but they're 17s and I think they look killer. Uh, I'm really happy with the wheel. Super nice. Uh, if you look at the other side, the other side has the red center caps and I feel that they look a lot better with the red center caps because it kind of accents the engine bay a little more. And guys, I'm super happy how this car is coming out. It's coming out awesome. Um, more updates. We did get the uh, IC7 dash mount in. I'll have to double check on who I got that from. But uh, super awesome. It's just 3D printed. I'm going to deep in the harness for the powers and the turn signals, blinkers, hazards, all that. So all that works with the CD7. Or the IC7, not the CD7. That's AEM. Um, but super nice mount. Factory location. Uh, we got the trans mounted. I just had it in fifth because I had to torque the crank down, the uh, balancer bolt. But we got a new shifter. We got a uh, GK Tech shifter in here with uh, new bushings and all. So the shifter feels great. No crazy play like before. Recommend the shifter. It feels super good just by sitting in here and I'm going to be super hyped and I'll be able to drive it again and uh, be how it feels. Made this a little carbon plate just because the radio didn't work. And the cubby hole was pissing me off, but uh, mess up the cut. I was super close, but no cigar. Close, but didn't make it. <laughs> I got new vents also. I don't know if we saw that in the late, one of the videos I made, but I got radio vents from NissanParts.cc. Awesome guys. Um, yeah, steering wheel still here. Battery line runs all the way through here, all the way to the back. You don't even see it, which I'm super happy about. You don't even notice it. Uh, what else? These VSKFs look sick. I'm super hype on them. Can't wait to clean them, polish them up, and uh, make them look new again. Just trying to think. Uh, we got a Koyo rat in there. Recording from the phone. Phone ran out of storage. Deleted some stuff. We're back. We got a Koyo rat in here. Uh, the PRP kit. We got the trigger kit. You guys saw. I'm just trying to think of anything else. You guys saw the work, the SKFs looking great. Just want to get a little bigger of a spacer in the front. I'm thinking it's got a three mil spacer on there now. I'm thinking maybe 10 mil. We'll get it to sit perfectly. Cause you see it's still sunk. You can't really see it perfectly. 
So I'm thinking 10 mil, space it out a little more. It'll sit perfect. Rear sitting fine. Uh, yeah, so right now I'm making a ground cable. Battery, I mean, uh, phone storage might be done, but if the video ends, it's just because I ran out of storage, but I'm making a ground cable from trans to chassis because I have a block to chassis. Now I'm doing a trans to chassis and I'm probably gonna do a head to chassis. So I'm gonna make that real quick. If I record it, I had storage left. If I don't, I'm sorry, no storage. All right, got the, ba not the battery. This is the new ground cable coming from trans bell housing to the, so it's going to go from here, go up around, around this factory little loom and then I'm gonna ground it right to here. A little quick ground. Now, all right guys, so there's my ground cable. So it goes from bell housing around, loops right there and then gets grounded right there. It's overkill, but I don't know, it's all I had. <laughs> I left my four gauge somewhere else, but I'd rather be, I don't know, old Japanese style, more grounds, more horsepower. But I'm happy with it, nice ground. Yeah, pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video. I'm bored, it's nice out, I wanna go skate. So, um, if you guys could like, comment what you guys think of the build so far. Um, see what you guys think about the VSKFs, I'm loving them. Um, yeah, so subscribe and stay tuned. I'm gonna try to keep this going because we're getting close. Engine's in, ran, clutches in, trans is in, drive shaft's in. Oh yeah, I didn't show you that. Drive shaft's in. So we're getting there. Fuel tank's in. I got new lines that are compatible with E85. We're gonna run it all the way over here to these two bulkheads right there. We got the starter line on there. You can see now the power on there. And uh, we're getting close, so. Like, comment, subscribe, and just stay tuned because we're getting close.